What we're going to make is if the puppet is over this side, then the controls will be inverted. So instead of pressing X to jump, it will press triangle to jump, and the rest should be self explanatory from there. So let's just uh, set up one character, and we'll say um, it has a tag uh, over here. So I'll move the tag up like that, and I'll paint this. So this will be invert. So we'll have a trigger zone over here that detects that tag. Um, of course, this could be this could be triggered in any way you want. This is just so I can have a quick test. Okay, and that will look for that tag called invert. And I'm using up and down on the D-pad to select that name. So you can see when we are in that area. Um, this is sending a signal from tag output and when we're out of that area then it's not sending a signal. So we're going to use that to invert our uh, controller. So uh, if we have another controller sensor don't need that and we'll put this onto remote controllable mode. This means that uh, you always get you always get the outputs so if I use the different buttons and stuff, you can see it's still getting the output even though I've not possessed the puppet. Uh, first, actually, we'll have this be uh, possessable, and I'm just going to say it's force possession, so that when I play, uh, go to play mode, it just uh, starts in the puppet, and we'll make this one be none. So this is going to be like a proxy for all of our controls but it's not going to actually output anything by itself so it'll become clearer as we go along. So this one is going to actually be possessed. Yeah, we're not going to use it at all. It's going to be there so that this puppet is possessable. So if I now try and play, I've possessed that puppet but um, because the controller sensor that I've possessed isn't hooked up to anything, nothing's actually happening which is what we want. Yeah, so now we have another controller sensor that is on remote controllable, which means uh, you only you get all the buttons no matter what. So, so this one is possessable, and if I press buttons like the square button, uh, nothing's come out of there. But this is remote controllable, so it's still getting that and sending it out, which is what we want because we want to send these into different ones of these. We'll just focus on getting the X button to be inverted, which goes to jump but the principle will apply to any any other control you want to do. So all we do is wire the cross button into the cross button of this non-possessable non controller sensor and now when we press X it's actually going through, you can see it going through the wires and out the other side through here. As uh, So it just sends through whatever it's receiving from this wire. But now if we go over here, then you can wire that into X as well from triangle. So now if I press triangle, it's sending through to jump as well. Now if we just turn that one off, and this one is on, then this is the inverted version. So if I play now, and press triangle, then jump works. If I turn off the inverted one, and turn on the non-inverted one, and play, then triangle doesn't do anything but X works. So all we're going to do is you're going to hook all these things up this will be all the inverted stuff going into the inverted buttons and stuff and this will be the regular mode going into the normal stuff over there. So if I just make that easy with a switch and I'll have a keyframe which will turn off regular mode and turn on inverted mode then I can uh, just turn that on and off so in this mode regular mode is being sent so X to X and then if that's on then triangle is activating X which is this inverted method but now we just we can because we have this tag set up we can use that to change it like that so 
if this tag is being detected, it will change this to use the inverted mo mode. So I can move around and jump. And if I go over here, X doesn't work, but triangle jumps now. So uh, there you go. I'd like to thank Scheme DBT, X Cantaloupe, Dead MC, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.